Citizen TV, the Citizen Power. Okay, ebusia for ye mamu yina kwaba. Ede ba Citizen TV so. Citizen TV, the Citizen Power. Ebra son se ye de ensemwa e chesia wo memu yina ebrao. Na de di kane di muntin ti maino. Ebi niye. Aside they being corrupt, and I'll come to it. And you know, today I'll talk about something the vice president did, okay, which shocks me. Like it has been, it ha it's been, it's been shocking for a while now, and I've never had the opportunity to talk about. It. I'll talk about it today. Rice. Someone brings his rice to the port. Came here, listen, Brings his rice to the port. He's supposed to go and find money and come and clear the goods. You know what is called demorage? When your goods stays for over a time, the government seizes the product, and then the government auctions it. They give, in fact, they give you the first option for buy. If you can buy it, they give you the first option. If you can't buy it, the government sells it, and then now they can take the money, take out their revenue. Two days before the time for the demorage to catch, this gentleman goes to look for money, comes to the, the, the port to come and collect his goods. The goods have already been auctioned. Hey, auctioned to who? Auction to a gentleman, the administrator in the vice president's office. So he went to the investigations and then found out that oh, it was going to the vice president's office. The vice president's office now comes to admit and says, yes, the rice was given, but the vice president doesn't know anything about it. Listen to this, oh. Listen to this. He doesn't know anything about it. We have gone to do Ramadan. We finished fasting. People have gone to pray. We've prayed. We're asking for forgiveness, including the vice president. He says he's a Muslim. The vice president's office carries this man's rice, which they stole, and came to share it in Muslim communities and telling the Muslims that the vice president said we should come and give you rice. So the Christian, who is in vice could, president... Could it also be that somebody was doing so in his office, but not the vice president? Okay, so, so, the, Christian, so, so, so the Christian that the product was sold to, the administrator, I'll get his name for you. The administrator that yeah, was... because I... I I'll get, I, I'll get I it for you. I see, I see, I see. I'll get it for you. Let me finish talking. Oh, when did this happen? No, but... I don't know when did this happen. You're putting out a contest of an issue that is not accurate of the vice president. No problem. When did this happen? I'm coming, I'm coming. Are you aware of this? I'm aware of this. I'm aware of this. I'm aware of the okay, no information problem. is putting out. Okay, so you put the information out. Yes, I'm, I'm so aware of the I don't know why Adele well, is doing you have this. The name of the press. I'm trying. Why. I wrote it down yesterday. I'm trying to get it for you. But <laughs> okay. if I can finish my so presentation, just when it comes, then, uh, <laughs> let me land. The, the, so, the so, so you take the rice, <laughs> and then you share it to the people, and you say, "This rice is from the vice president. Take it, Muslims." You go and take someone's thing. You go and take someone's thing. Give it to people who have just finished fasting. In fact, to an extent that some Muslim people. Decided at the time to return what was given to them because they found out that it was from a wrong sub person or they took as to whether they have paid the person today or they have not paid the person today, we don't know. The question I'm asking is that the administrator we're talking about, even till today, what's the vice president's office? You think that you think that you think that if there was nothing wrong with it, he's working in your office sharing rice which belonged to somebody, a rice that the demorage had not yet cut it two days before the marriage you have taken the rice forcefully you are sharing it to people to eat it after ramadan and the person is still sitting in the office you know and you say the vice president you know, came it. Okay. You know, came I'm, I'm surprised that adele would want to raise issues like this on a national platform when there are no substantiated proofs mm -hmm. but uh, let's put it let's put it in context okay tell um, us what happened so there's a there's a story on on ghana web okay um, and the source is from JNA, which is the Ghana News Agency. Yeah. It was published on Wednesday, 15th February 2023. It's titled Vice President's Office Supports Investigation into an authorized letter to clear 15 containers of rice. Mm. I don't know if Adele read that. Because if we don't discuss the issues circumspectively, it would bring a lot more emotional attachment to it. Let me just go to the response of the secretary to the vice president because this is key. Mm. Now look, a statement issued on Tuesday by the secretary to the vice president, Augustine Blay, in response to the matter said, it was only the secretary to the vice president who is mandated to write letters on the office behalf and that <clears throat> Keck or say did not have any such authority. Mm. Adele would bring the vice president into a matter that is under investigation, mm. into a matter of a young person in his office who is not mandated to write a letter. 
and now is under investigation at the office of the special prosecutor. Mm. KMJ, Hello. first of all, mm. first of all, let's do what you know the average person knows. If, and I'm using this word carefully, mm. if the vice president is actually complicit, if. Mm. <clears throat> Do you expect him to come out there and come and say, yes, I was the one that authorized for them to go and take the rice? I'm asking you. But there could also be the possibility that but I said he was not involved. Uh, what the statement that we're seeing right I now. I am not. If I'm someone in that. someone's office is doing something no and problem. the person is under investigation. No problem. No problem. It means that the vice president. No problem. I am. I'm, saying, I'm anyway. saying if mm. the vice president is complicit. Do you expect him to come and sit on national t television wanting to be knowing who everybody thinks he is? you know, on the face of this country, mm. to come and sit on television and say, yes, I was the one that authorized for it, but I've even paid the guy back. But I'm just, I'm just using, because oh, he's put out a propaganda that will not let fly. Me, let I me flow. should ask him to apologize. Paul 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 he should apologize don't, to Muslims. Don't mess the program up. No, I beg you. Yeah, I beg you. He needs, he needs let to apologize let me, to Muslims. Look, when you're speaking, I'm sitting here. For a when you're, when you're like speaking, this. When you're speaking, I'm sitting here. I'm sorry. I beg you. Yeah, yeah, nice. Now listen. Now listen. Now listen. Listen to this. Listen to this. Kek is a Christian. Okay? Kek. Is a Christian. I'm just using common sense here. It is common sense God has given to all of us. So whether you go to school or you don't go to school, you add one plus one, you watch your children, you say, You know? One That's plus one comes oh. from school. Please, I beg no, you. His analogy is one good. plus one comes from school. Yes, where do you learn that from? Where do you learn that from? No, I'm, I'm saying officially. <laughs> yeah. officially. Our parents have taught us this before formal education. Don't even go there. Don't have sense. a conversation. Is that what we're talking about? I'm saying I'm using common sense. First of all, Kek is a Christian. Put that one down. Two, Kek works in the office of the vice president. Two, three, Kek is a subordinate in the office of the vice president. Certainly, he's not the vice president. Mm -hmm. Four, if Kek didn't have the mandate to be able to write a letter and send it to GRA to be able to get authority to get that rice out of that place, why did GRA give him authority? That is four. Because, I mean, you're, per what you're saying, per what you read, the person that has authority is Dr. Keck. But now, listen, listen to what is funny. Is so I, can I just flow? Oh, come can on. I just flow? I beg you. I, know, this, I this am issue only will using... Fly. No, no problem. Don't let it fly. This let issue the people will not decide. fly. No, let the people decide. So, no, Keck, so Keck who is a Christian, who is in the vice president's office, decides to go and take, in, 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 you know this, 15 containers of rice. It's no joke, one. And then also note this, that when it is auctioned, you pay for it. It's not for free. So Keck had that man, much money to buy 15 containers and then decided that he wants to share that 15 containers in the name of the vice president. I think that... Are you kidding me? The office like, of the special you, prosecutor you can, you can, no. should invite no Adele problem. to aid in investigation. No yes, no I mean, you need... No yes, problem. No problem. I'm saying that, I'm saying that on what basis? On what basis? Because these, uh, listen, these listen. analogies you are no doing... No problem. It's not what you have been used. It's not even used for investigation. Oh, Paul, why are you doing this? Look, I need you to have do read, this because you no are putting out everything. No, 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 no. Uh, it is not. It's a clever so, information. So let the people decide. No, it's let a clever information. Let the people, let the people here, decide. I am here KMJ, to I'm telling you something. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. You're misinforming the public. No, you read something. Okay, let's come to what you read. You read. You're that's right. You read. You read something. Of course, I read something. I read a report from CNN. As your, as your, as your, as your, as your rebuttal. You read the document. Okay, the document says the document you read says that. Keck didn't have the authority to do that. So at least we know that Keck did it. We also know that Keck wrote a letter. He's no vice but, president. But the involvement of the vice president is what I do not want to KMG, KMG, KMG. It's the only person that has an authority to write a letter. The vice president, the secretary, secretary to the vice president. Did not write no problem, no problem. You know, you, do, you know, do, you know why, do you know why I am I thinking? Know why do you know why to oh. put all these shenanigans? You know why I am, I, this whole thing looks murky? Because since 2022, Keck is still in the office of the vice president. Why didn't they sack him? The man forged, forges a document. Listen to this. Who. You see, you people, you talk to us as though we are all idiots. The man forges a document in the office of the vice president. Goes to GRA to get authority to clear 15 containers well, of uh, rice. Wouldn't that be done after the investigations? Because it's the only way we can find out oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. Let him sit aside. On what authority? We, we have confirmed now that there's a letter which is fraudulent. The letter was unacceptable. Coming from Keck, who is in the vice president's office, the person who should sack him is the vice president. Tell him, bro, sit down on the side, right? Let them do the investigation. Let's come to a conclusion. But you see what is funny? I am asking a basic question. Why would Keck take rice? Go and take rice and go and share to the Muslim community and tell them that it's coming from the vice president's office.
citizen tv the citizen power